Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement time picker in Flutter. So here is the demo I've been running on my device. So when I press on this button, you can see there is a pop-up being shown from which a user can select a time and the selected time will be shown to the user in a text format over here. So let's get started and implement time picker in Flutter. Okay, so here I have created a new Flutter project in my Android Studio IDE and this is the default counter code. So I'll just remove this counter code and I will just create my own stateful widget and I will just name it as my home page okay so for now here simply it has simply a placeholder so I will just remove it and instead of that I will just add a scaffold widget over here okay and if you want you can just add a app bar okay so I will just keep it empty uh, and I will just make use of body tag okay so in this body tag uh, I want to show a button a text okay so for this I will make use of a column widget so at the center of my screen so center child column widget and children property I'm making use of okay and everything will be at the center of my screen so I'll just make use of main axis alignment of center so let me show a text widget over here so text widget okay so the text widget is for showing this text that is the picked time by the user and I need all to also show a button okay so here I will just keep it as selected time and on top of that uh, or at bottom of that i can just make use of elevated button okay so here is this okay so here is the ui so i will just keep a distance between the widgets for that i am making use of sized box okay so let me run this app on my device and let's wait okay so the app has been running on my device and you can see there is a text widget and there is a gap between uh, the widget and there is a elevated button so now when I press on this button, I want to show a dialog box at the bottom of my screen uh, where I'm going to show a time picker so that the user can pick the time. Okay, so for this we are going to make use of show Cupuccino model pop-up. Okay, so for this what I can do is I can just create a uh, function to show a dialog box. So let's do that. Okay, so here I will just create a function, a void function and I will just name it as show timer picker okay so this function will accept one parameter that is context from this button press okay so build context i need to pass context yeah so here we have context we just need to pass it to this function so that we can just show uh, the ui in this class in this build property okay so here we are going to make use of show uh, cupuccino model pop-up okay so context and builder so in builder build context so for now i am just uh, sending a con empty container so let me pass this call this function when the button is been pressed okay so let me refresh and check what we can see I'm just getting an error yeah so here is an error okay so now when i press on this button you can see there is a gray effect been applied on the full screen that is because I need to give some property to, to this container. I need to define some height and color. So let's give an height of 200, let's say. And let's give a color. So I will just make use of Cupuccino color. And let me give white color. So let me refresh and let's check now. Okay, so now you can see there is a pop-up over here. Okay, so now I need to build some content over here and show my Cupuccino time picker okay so here let me make use of child property and inside child property let me make use of column widget children property okay so here i want to show a cupuccino timer okay so in cupuccino library we have cupuccino timer uh, widget time picker widget so we can make use of it so it's cupuccino time picker okay so this we can make use of so here we need to pass some initial values and some modes and everything okay so if you want to customize it you can just read this documentation so these are the properties that you can make use of okay so here i will make use of mode so in our case we need hours minutes and seconds so uh, we can make use of cupuccino time picker mode as hms time picker mode dot hms okay and we need to also define the initial timer timing so initial timing what we can do is we can just initialize a variable uh, duration and we can just pass it over here 
so what i can do is i will just create a duration variable over here and i will name it as selected duration duration hours i will just give zero minutes as zero and seconds as zero okay so the same thing i will just pass it in initial time duration okay and whenever the user change the duration by picking the timing timer i need to change this variable also so for this we can make use of this function okay so here uh, yeah so duration the picked duration will be stored over here so set property set state sorry selected duration is equal to duration that is being picked by the user okay so let me refresh and check our ui how it looks okay so you can see i can pick a timing from this okay but here you can see it is showing me overflowed by 16 pixels so we can just fix it by wrapping this whole widget with extended widget expanded widget like this so let me check if it got fixed yeah so it got fixed okay so now i want a button over here so that uh, whenever the user selects so you he can press on this and just minimize this okay so here what i can do so what i can do is i will just wrap this or else i can just make use of row widget okay so when the user press on this i need to just uh, close the window that is opened okay so i will just need to pop up this uh, window that is opened so navigation i can make use of navigator dot off context dot pop okay so let me check our ui what it is showing okay so here is a button so i want to just take this button at the right side so i can make use of uh, main axis alignment and so when i press on this button you can see the pick time is getting uh, the time picker is getting closed okay so now the last thing is whenever the user select any item uh, sorry the time i want to show the picked time in this text widget so we can easily do it by making use of this variable okay so this variable we need to show in our uh, text widget over here okay so to show that we can make use of dollar symbol to access the variables so dollar duration dot in hours okay like this so let's refresh and check what it gives okay so now you can see it is showing so i'm just picking a time you can see it is just changing it okay so with this we also need uh, minutes and seconds so we can just do that I'll just copy this thing paste it over here for two times so here i will just make it as minutes and this is second okay so here in seconds so here every time the seconds will be in uh, milliseconds so we need to divide it or mod we need to do uh, mod it by and uh, 60 okay and the same thing for minute so minutes mod 60 okay so let me refresh and check so i can just pick hours minutes and then second okay so the selected duration will be shown to the text widget as something like this okay so this is how you can implement a time picker in flutter so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you